Hello, this is Greg Monroe of the Holy Ground Ministries, Greg Monroe Vlog, with a video response to my good friend Wayman29 and his response with the question, where did all the vloggers go? Well, I can't talk about the other vloggers. Everybody has their own reasons and their own situations. But I've been at doing YouTube videos pretty close to eight years now. I've had a number of different channels. I've been bounced around a lot. I've had to deal with copyright issues, DMCA issues, and recently lots of trolls that shout you down when they don't like what you have to say. Freedom of speech is something that is very valuable. And it has been restricted on YouTube to the point where, quite frankly, you start having to ask, why bother? You start wondering, why do you put yourself to all that torture? all that pain. You feel that your opinion doesn't matter anymore. Nobody wants to view you. Nobody wants to hear what you've got to say, whether what you have to say is relevant or not. And when the individual's opinion no longer matters or is so controversial and edgy that the detractors want nothing to do but silence you. It hurts freedom of speech for everybody. The whole purpose of having freedom of speech is so that dissenting viewpoints and dissenting opinions have a marketplace. That there is freedom to be able to say what is on your mind. There is freedom to state what you believe so that it's out there in the public forum. So that at least those dissenters, those nonconformists, have a place in society. And YouTube, huh? and <laughs> I'll edit this out later, in the middle of answering a video. <laughs> but when, when you curtail freedom of speech, and you mass up in groups to shout somebody down and silence them you lose you don't win I may disagree with a lot of people and I post videos to share my view and to tell them why I disbelieve or why I disagree with them but I would never consider censorship. And I would never consider telling them that they shouldn't post. And yet, in recent years, I've been censored, DMCA'd, and silenced, and most recently with the passing of a notable YouTube figure of William Cardinal, 
I've been silenced by his fan base, many of which had no clue as to who he really was or knew him near as good as I knew him. And because I don't conform to the modern politically correct movement, I was silenced. When I first started with YouTube, the vlogger was king. It was a marketplace of opinion, a marketplace of viewpoint, and it was a community. And the community was basically sold out for commercialism. You look at the videos that get the high views on the market today, and they're all scripted. They're all professionally written. They may have semi-professional, what used to be considered amateurs in front of the screen, but they are produced now to where they are no different than any of the reality TV that you see on MTV, which is not reality at all. It is scripted soap opera for the modern ignorant youth that eat that stuff up like candy. And it's all about the views, it's all about selling advertising, and it's no longer about differing viewpoints and differing opinions and having a place where we, a, a, a forum where dissenting ideas and unpopular opinions can be presented. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I think Wayman29 has changed my opinion on my recent censorship. And I'm going to lift that ban. If you want to troll me, if you want to shout me down, that's fine. I've got better things to do with my life than posting videos. I post videos only because I was inspired to do so. And I thought at the time that I could participate in a community. But as the Bible suggests, if you're not accepted, if you're rejected, when you come to a community, then it becomes time to dust off your sandals and walk away. That's why I've not been doing many videos lately. I've been focusing on other aspects of life. This world is far too beautiful. The sunsets are far too lovely. You can get out, walk in the countryside, watch the birds and watch the squirrels, watch the beautiful sunsets, and know that humanity is rotting from the inside with its immorality and that at least one has tried to stem the flow. Ultimately, it's the viewer that has chosen this. The viewers are not interested in hearing opinions. The viewers want to be entertained. They want the amusement. And when you don't amuse them, then you've got no place. One day they'll wake up and, and ask, where did it all go? And it went 
because they chose for it to go. So just something to think about. Have a good day.